everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. In this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're not actually going to be looking at a histological slide, but we're going to be introducing the concept of connective tissue. And in order to do this, we're going to uh, look at something which I call uh, the rule of twos in relation to connective tissue. Now, this is specifically referring to ordinary connective tissue or connective tissue proper. And it's sort of an easy way to kind of think about the structure of connective tissues. So um, let's see if we can do it in three minutes. Okay, so in our rule of twos, um, if we think about it for the breakdown of uh, our connective tissue, we can think of connective tissue as made up of a series of two things. Now the first of the things that makes up uh, connective tissue are of course cells. So cells is one thing and the extracellular matrix is the other thing that makes up ordinary connective tissue. So the extracellular matrix or ECM. Now the, there's two types of um, broad classifications of cells that make up connective tissue. These are the fixed cells of connective tissue and transient cells that come in and out of connective tissue depending how it's needed. Now here, so here's our first two cells and extracellular matrix. Here's our next two cells are made up of either fixed cells or transient cells. Now um, here we've just got a breakdown of the fixed cells which we find in connective tissue. These aren't in twos, but we have of course our fibroblasts and our fibrocytes. We have plasma cells, and they're responsible uh, for production of uh, antibodies. We have macrophages, which are uh, resident uh, phagocytic cells. And, um, and we may have um, mast cells, and they're part of the innate immune system can initiate uh, an inflammatory response. The transient cells, which can move in and out of connective tissue, are our white blood cells. So like neutrophils, um, basophils, eosinophils and so on. Now the extracellular matrix can be further subdivided into two. It's made up of ground substance and it's made up of uh, fibers. Now ground substance can be further made up of um, glycosaminoglycans which we abbreviate to GAGs and water. And water, of course, can be subdivided into hydrogen and oxygen. We don't really need to know into that level of detail of our twos. So ground substance and fibres. And there's two broad classifications of fibres which we can find. These are collagen fibres and these are elastic fibres. Now, some of you may have heard of reticular fibres. They're actually a type of collagen that's actually known as type 3 collagen. So, whoops, reticular fibers are actually a type of collagen, which is why I sort of divided them into um, that broad classification. So if we think about our, our twos, we've got our um, cells and extracellular matrix making up our connective tissue. We've got our cells made up of fixed and transient. We've got our extracellular matrix made up of ground substance and fibers. The ground substance is further made up of gags and water, glycosaminoglycans and water, and our fibers are made up of collagen and elastin. Well, that's it. Um, that's how we actually make up our building block of connective tissue. Uh, hopefully you found that useful. Uh, stay tuned for further videos where we have a look at the histological structure of connective tissue. Hooroo!